I walked past the guy, I didn't say a word. It was him that started on me. How did he start on you? It was just like, what'd you call me? You know, he was giving it all that. He had a right chip on his shoulder. Had you addressed him at all? My client just told you that he didn't. I didn't even register the bloke. I was thinking what I was going to get from the shop for my tea. <laughs> so, he mutters under his breath, and then he turns and comes after me, grabs me by the shoulder. Then what happened? My reflexes kicked in. He looked crazy, like his eyes were blank. Like he was off his head. Off his head? How? I don't know. Drugs, booze. Did you see any drugs or alcohol? <laughs> no, this all happened in seconds. I'm trying to explain to you why I reacted. It was self-defense. So, you hit him? My client just told you he was defending himself. <sighs> so, what exactly did you do, Mr. Greenlow? <sighs> Whatever I had to. I swung for him. Landed a solid punch so he wouldn't keep coming. But he recovered himself, so I just I shoved him away. Shoved him? Yeah. So he ended up on the pavement, that's when you guys came and started making assumptions. He was the one who was down, so they arrested me. He told us you assaulted him. And I'm trying to tell you how it was. Look, my, uh, my client's been pretty clear. You don't have enough evidence of intent or culpability to charge him. We'll be checking CCTV from the area to verify Mr. Greenlow's account. How long is that going to take? We're well aware of our responsibilities, Mr. Anderson. Then there's really no reason to keep him here. You need to let him go. We need to conduct a proper interview with the alleged victim first. He's currently in hospital. For the record, I'm showing the defendant a photo of the victim. He's making it worse than it is. It was just a scuffle. We have a statement from the paramedics who attended him. His injuries were too serious to be treated at the scene. 